you, my dear. I see you've got a letter. Yes. Any good news about... No. Well, nothing. Wilfred can't tell us much, even if he knows himself. But the paper says it'll all be over in days. Papers says. May I read it? It's there. <coughs> Toast. <coughs> well, I will read it after work. I don't suppose there's any sign of those two youngsters. Goodness knows what they're going to do after this. And as for Wilfred. Good morning, Father. Oh, good morning to you, young lady. We're just asking after you and your young brother. Any sign of him? I... I haven't seen him yet, Father. Well, you two are having it nice and easy at the moment, but after this you'll have to settle down to something worthwhile, eh? Well, sit down, sit down, girl. Have your breakfast. I have work to do. So I'll see you this evening, my dears. Yes, Tom. Goodbye, Father. Bye. Oh, I gather you draw the short straw to leave the brigade. And as I'm sure the um, brigade majors told you, we're up for what might be the final show. No promises, mind, and incidentally, this doesn't leave this from, and particularly not in any letters home. So we're making sure that the censorship people are doing their thing. But things are moving quite quickly now, so what we have to do is to keep in line with advances made across the core front. Yes, Brigadier. Well, I trust your men are settled in, fed, watered, in bivouacs or cellars, eh? Right, well, it's the uh, canal, Sombre, of course. I gather you've been down there with CO 16 flanks. Yes, I have, sir. Well, I want the whole brigade over. I'm ready to move forward as a formation. I don't want to be delayed or weakened for any subsequent operations. We'll go before dawn. None of your daytime operations now. I think this brigade is well practiced for night operations. I accept that, Brigadier, and I agree. We have come a long way, but I can only say that... Yes, well, the sappers will get, her, get us across. I gather they have a cunning plan for that. <laughs> but, Brigadier, that involves throwing up pontoons across in the face of the enemy. Well, they take time and manpower to put together. And you need a secure environment. Fire plan, guns. We will have a fully resourced mortar and artillery fire plan for this. They will cover the bridges pre-HR. We set HR for the first crossing. Well, could we not go <coughs> back to Brigadier? Brigadier, could we not go back to Division on this and get some extra engineer resources from Corps then? Other Corps and Brigades are crossing canals. This operation will go ahead. We're nearly there. One final push. That's all I'm asking for with you in the lead. Yes, Brigadier. As the writer and partly the acting, um, I've probably said enough. It's been my utter pleasure and privilege to be working with these guys, girls, for the last few weeks and months. And I include those at the back, those at the sides, those above. Those who sometime, who were, who were here at the beginning and for various reasons left, those who joined late and very, very quickly grasped what we were trying to do and bought into it in a magnificent way. Some people who were in hospital, had partners in hospital, and came back and, and did their thing in, in, in a just a wonderful way. Um, and uh, I think itself is a, a tribute to the centenary that we're in um, that they did this. I knew that we were onto something really good when I was invited to the pub one day by a couple of these guys and I got there and I found them with the scripts out calling each other by their stage name and I thought, yes, we got them here. Um, so, um, you know, and um, I, I, they, they've been absolutely wonderful, but more of that in a minute. But none of this could have happened without the overarching umbrella of global fusion. And I don't know if you... Uh... You're the one setting the pace on this, eh? Paradise, I'm hearing. Yeah, I think someone like you deserves it. Oh, really? Congratulations. Let's hope it's long-lived. I'm impressed, really, how someone like you managed to sweeten up the senior officers and get through all that paperwork. After all, it's only two prisoners from one side of the jail to meet up with a female on the other side. 
I'm sure you'll manage. Not saying, though, quite a lot could go wrong. They'll be all right. Oh, yeah. You got it all worked out, don't you? You really think that when they leave here, they go to do good? Well, your magic seems to have worked on this guy on the outside. So, let's see what he has to say. Shall we? Mr. Leach, hand me that letter. <laughs> Dear Mr. Ndongu, you once said only by freeing spirit and mind do we find who we were and who we will be. I'm on that journey. Not too many people believed in me other than you, and that means a lot to me. Didn't know it would be that hard to readjust, but after 10 years, what else could I expect? Discovering new sides to me every day. I started painting. Helped me to keep balance. I do it pretty much all day and night if I'm not job hunting. Most jobs I apply to don't even invite me for an interview once they read I'm an ex-convicted drug dealer. When I get angry and impatient, I remember God. He knows what's best for me. I've learned to put my trust in him. Give me to me. Go on then. Right, you do as you're told now. Mr. Lynch, thank you. Everything is under control. Under okay. control? Yes. Are right. you from another planet? Now, you two, sit down back in your chairs. Now. Mr. Lynch, that isn't helping. Oh. Well, I'll just go then, will I? Let you look after these monkeys. Yes? I don't think so. Look. Settle down, everyone. I wouldn't be in your shoes if I were you, bruv. But you're not a 12-year-old kid like that. You're better off inside than on the outside. I didn't beat him up. I doubt if he sees it like that. No. He's going to wait his opportunity <coughs> and then he might strike. I've seen it before. Bang! He's going to strike. And what am I supposed to do about it? I don't know. But I reckon he's going to be tooled up. Why don't you search him then? No point. You keep it hidden. Wait his opportunity. Best to get your own tools. Yeah, and where am I supposed to get tools from in here? You're lucky you met me. Okay? Here. Take this. Put it away. Keep it hidden, right? And if you need backup, and I reckon you will, I'm a good person to know. But I need information, right? love at first sight. Or perhaps it was because you tried to kill his boss and you're in rival gangs. Maybe, but he said it's possible that. Yeah. He joined Jihad. He's got Allah on his side. That's a very peaceful mob. You want my advice? That's one gang you don't want to be mixed to mess with, okay? You need to ask yourself, who is going to help me out? Who's going to support me? Who's going to be on my side? Okay? Now, shouldn't do this, but you are different. You've got something different about you from the rest of these monkeys. Wait, so take this <laughs> and put it away. What? Now what we're pussy. What's that? No, okay. 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 I'll keep an eye on you. All right? Put it away. Well, you leave me no option. Do 
down there, buddy. I am saying you're gonna have to be arrested yeah, now. Come on, no. come on. You're not gonna get off. No, no, get your hands off. Come on. Get your hands off. Come on. Oh, and I've been on the menu again and make, make no mistake. <laughs> oh, Very special knock you out drinks. <laughs> so you said, did you say you were a pirate? Uh, 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 no, 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 not a pirate. No, no, no. But I am a captain of this ship. Oh, you are? And these are some of my motley, I mean many crew. Do you have a ship? <laughs> <laughs> Can he get a ship? Is the moon a balloon? Are the fairies at the bottom of a garden? Does a one legged duck swing round and round? And do bears do their doings in Oxley's Wood? I don't know, kids today. Can he get a ship? Oh, yes, of course I can, my dear fellow. In fact, but first, forgive my rudeness once more, for I haven't even introduced myself. For well, my name is Captain Crook, at your service. Crook? Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, it's a staff or a rod. But how guided my crew in a straight nautical line. <laughs> and these are two of my very trusty feet, seafaring salty dogs. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm Jolly Roger. Jolly by name, Roger by nature. South Africa in the Transvaal. He was one of my porters. Jabalani. Of course, I called him Billy. Good lad. Local Zulu. They knew how to fight. Tough as old boots. I sent him and a few of his mates back for supplies one time. And when they never came back, I thought they deserted. I was so angry. And it wasn't until much later I found out that every last one of them had been killed. What is such a waste? Now, oh, well, never mind all this chatting. Let's hear some sounds of work. Get your hands moving rather than your mouth. There is something needed. I need to tell you. I, I never meant to hurt anyone. I, I just feel the loneliness sometimes. Loneliness is a powerful thing, Mr. Harrison. Well, love? It, it don't care where it falls. What well, you knew then? My mother told me when she was dying. I wish she hadn't though. I don't think she would have, but she saw you together and said I had a right to know. I called her a lie, but she swore on my grandma's grave. But what can I say? We may share the same blood, but my father is my father, the one who brought me up. Yeah, of course. I understand. 
Well, if there's anything I can do, please tell me. I'd like to help. I think I'll be all right. But if not, we'll see. Then came the telegram on Army Form B-104, which consumed the nations around the world, including Commonwealth nations, fighting on behalf of Britain, and involved many women who had to step into male roles on the home front. If his shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended, that you have but slumbered here if these visions did appear. And this week, an idle theme, no more yielding but a dream. Gentles, do not reprehend. If you pardon, we will mend. As I am an honest part, if we have unearned luck, now to state the serpent's tongue, we will make a mend here long. Else the puck a liar call, so good night until you all. Give me your hands if we be friends, and Robin shall restore a mend. <laughs>